Hello, it's me, Digital Bull T, here with our back to regularly scheduled program, as uh, per asked by scheduling, you know? <laughs> and so, yeah, Sorry. we're back to our lovely bit of Sunhaven, and it's gonna be back to Thursdays, hopefully, but if it switches again, I'll let you know it when we actually stream it. And yeah, I'm joined by my friend Chaos, uh, as usual. Hello. I am deeply sorry for my scheduling conflicts. <laughs> it's fine, life happens. Alright, uh, host that one, right? A load character. Uh, and if my voice sounds a little bit more nasally and lower, it's because I just woke up or something from a nap. Alright. I believe you could join through, uh, just Steam, so... Yes, I am trying that right now. Give me a second, I'm, like, loading in scenes, apparently. There we go. Oh, someone's appearing? What? Oh. Oh, it's just Peter and his, uh, squid tentacle monster thing. <laughs> oh, shoot, my music's on. Hold up. Beep. There we go. Oh, we're getting inked. No, we're getting inked. Of course we're getting inked. Huh? Who? Huh? You're not nice surprised scene. that Peter isn't a romanceful character? Yeah, it feels like he should be. Alright, do I want to handle the, the, uh... Oh, that's not where my home is. Gosh. Ooh, my crops. Okay, I could tell you joined because I lagged. <laughs> Sorry. No, like, anytime anybody joins multiplayer, that's just what happens. Mm, makes sense. <clears throat> I was trying to play a game over tabletop yesterday, and like, my entire computer was having all of the conniptions about it. I was just it was having just a moment. Phenomenal. Oh yeah, no, I mean, listen, Phyllis is old. She's doing her best. Oh, you actually named your- I didn't know that. <laughs> it, uh, it's a recent development. Reese? She okay. Looks, she looks like a Phyllis, you know? Hmm. Not an Urtzebet? A what? Urtzebet. How was that spelled? Uh, I believe E R Z E B E T. Is that from something? So it's from a game that I used to play called Urban Rivals. You know that card game that I showed you one time, oh, uh, yeah, like online sure. card game. So Urtzebet yeah. was one of the, like the characters given to me in their basic pack when I first started the game. Also, hi Navi with a boat. Um. But um, but um, nope. Um, I'm looking for something. A word. <laughs> but um. Or is it? Yeah, she was one of the characters that were giving like a basic thing, and well, yeah, that that's really it. Huh? That's just a name that just randomly like reoccurred in my mind, so I said, "Why not say this? Why not use this?" Hurts a bit. That's a fascinating name. Her story is kind of interesting because she was in a clan. Well, so the game in that game they have like clans and stuff like, and that, and so, Hurts was in the Nightmare Clan, which is like. Demons, monsters, anything like horror, not horror, but like more like spooky Halloween stuff, we could say. And so her thing was that she liked quiet and peace, uh, but she like, she was like the owner of the manor, I think. And, or like she came with the manor that the uh, Nightmare Clan uses as like their home base. And if anybody like is too loud, she gets angry, pissed off, and like will smack them. Hmm. Yeah. We I mean, listen, we love a feisty hostess. <laughs> Alright, there's too much- He was freaking out and has taken a minute to join in. Hopefully it'll get its stuff together soon. I have so many chests. Uh... All the same stuff. Oh, okay, so we can only hold 50 silk. But some other things we can hold, like, uh, over, like, almost 1,000 of. Yeah, I don't quite get what the numbering system is. Like, you can have 999, like, wood, but you can only have, like, 50 apples? You know, 50 apples is a, is a thing. 50 apples. Apple. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Gosh dang it. Computer, freaking work with me here. Is it time to reset? Are we having technical difficulties? 
We might be. Resetting may not be a bad idea. I do not remember the last time that I reset this thing. Oh, maybe you should. Yeah, it's probably a decent call, all things considered. I've been looking at the rainbow spinny circle of death for a minute here, so... Hmm, circles. All right. I'm gonna force quit. I'm gonna quit out of all my stuff. I will be right back. After the break. You don't have to suffer delicate gloves. Yes, yes. Delicate gloves can be made. If their bar is smelted, I have a copper chest plate to deal with. The copper legs. Okay. Ah, perfect. Oh, wait, there's a snack cool down there, isn't there? Snack cool, snack cool, snack cool. Do 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 do. Hello, Sir Snackoon. I can hear this big fella's stomach rumbling from here. Maybe it would wake up if I brought some food. I wonder what it likes. It likes mangoes and pineapples. There we go. A mom. Ah. Got that summer snackoon. Sorry, beach snackoon. Now, who do I need to see first? Like, mission wise, talk to her and Peeber, or uh, not Peeber, Peter and Sophie. <laughs> Their names have changed. It's fine. Albert's pastime. Would like a metal helmet again? Uh, okay. Well, I'll leave that there for another day. Not today. Whenever it reappears. I do now or you can do later. Thank you, Elios, for the extra mana capacity. We love that. Ah. Ah. Hello, you needed something. So the farmer is the first to show up. The armor you brought looks well made too. This should stop those straw dummies from falling apart so quickly. I appreciate it, farmer. Here's something for you. Yes, excellent. Do I meet other people here? No. There's Pete, Peter, Peter. Why is right. this Peter? Oh, Peter. Hello. What? Sorry, I was like looking for Peter, and then I realized Peter is a uh, uh, somewhere else. Currently, he's down there, down yonder. But first, ooh, we must talk to uh, Nathaniel. There's a lot that I like about this town, especially the people. Everyone's a good neighbor here, including you. Hmm. Yes, flirt. I must flirt. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Oh, Peter, you're walking around. Thank you. I will take the sea bass that you gave me. Probably. I'll take the shmonies. I leveled my fishing, apparently. Oh, sorry, it's K. Fishing. What do I want to level up? Bonding experience. Yes. Increase the fishing bonding level thing. Uh, stats. <laughs> So did you join this time? I saw that frame of lag. We're loading scenes. We're gonna see if it gives me what I need. This is as far as it got last time. Oh my god, we're in. <laughs> we appear to be getting inked again. Yep. I wonder if it's gonna add more ink to your thing. I believe it adds a second, like, inking. Also, finding Vivi might be a little bug. Or we have to find her actually during spring. Because according to my friend, there should be a cutscene where she's found under a snack coon, right? And the only mm -hmm. time that they're found under snack coon is, I believe, during spring. So we have to wait for that season, hopefully, to get that cutscene. See. Skip, 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 skip. 
I was going to do something today, but. Then I got high. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What are we talking about? I, 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 you tell me. <laughs> gonna pay child support, but then I got high. Do, do, do. But then I got high. But then I got high. But then I got high. Do. I, sh I feel like I should be questioning what's going on, but you know what? It's an older one, actually. I think that one's like 2010s? I don't know. Okay. I don't need to be wearing these silly looking gloves anymore. Why would I wear those on my hands? Because you have hands? I do have hands. That is the place where gloves are worn. Really not on your feet? It depends on the day. Uh, I really thought you had a category of like, oh, those are called socks, DJ. Shit. Well, I mean. <laughs> I was really expecting it, and it never came. I'm sorry. I, I only disappoint. It's okay. I'm used to disappointment. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. You're welcome. Not by you, but. I mean. Yeah, Nappy, I've had glasses for a bit. I just wear them every now and then. He can't see. I'm blind. Blind. Uh, blind. I really, I really thought you were saying like legally blonde. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I was on a plane the other day. Uh, I promise this is relevant. And this plane had like those movie screens where you can watch movies on the plane. Mm -hmm. Um, and I decided to watch, uh, Clueless and Legally Blonde back-to-back. Uh-huh. And let me tell you what a combination that is. Well, it sounds like you had a trip. It was a time. I mean, and, like, you, you try to, like, how do I even put it? Watching those movies back to back puts you in a mindset that is unlike many that I have any ever experienced before mm -hmm. in my life. It's like this weird sort of utopian 2010 or not even like 90s 2000s vibe. It just kind of And the funny thing, have you seen both of these movies? I've seen of these movies Legally Blonde. I haven't seen the other one. Okay, so Legally Blonde is, I would say, the better of the two. Um, and uh, Clueless stars a very, very young Paul Rudd, which is kind of fascinating. Um, I would say Legally Blonde is more fun and it's better and it's more supportive overall, whereas Clueless kind of takes a couple of those things and focuses on more of the, like, mean girl beatdown vibe. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's it's a trip. I highly recommend at some point trying to watch them back to back because your brain kind of gets turned inside out. Oh, good. It's All, the best. Also, Nappy said that uh, such such great choices, such a great choice. <laughs> Sarcastic or not, I enjoyed them. Chaos, do you want to help me fish for these fish that we need to catch? Sure. The bomb fish that take down this squid that's getting our farm. I can help out with that. Okay, I got one so far. Give me just a moment to finish up this task, and I will come out and help you. You know, this would be so much easier if I had that spell for, uh, catching fish. Probably. I mean, the, the bubble spell is nice. It just costs a lot of mana. Yeah, that's true. But it's not like I'm not good with far not farming fishing. I mean, you've been spending most of your experience points in this thing on fishing. Not really. It's been mainly in... It's definitely not fishing. It was, a uh, what are my, what's the stats, stats? I think my highest thing is mining right now. Yeah, mining's 31. In comparison to, like, my level 16 fish. Damn. Oh, yeah, you have been spending a lot of time in the mines lately, huh? Oh, yeah, I've been craving the mines. The children crave the mines. We have to get 40 bomb fish, which might take two days with just the two of us. We can do it. If we Where try. Where the hell is... Ooh, bronze. Oh, oh, God dang it. Alright, fine. What's happening? I am running out of time. 
Mm. What about rosemary and sage? I got some of those. Parsley. All that jazz. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Oh, doctor. Aha, there's a fish. It's been hidden. Can't hide from my hook. From my hook, you be catching them fish. <laughs> I'm really sucking with that pirate accent right now. I don't know what's happening. I mean, you're you're fishing. I feel like it's uh comes with the territory. Yes, but I would like to have a better accent than Yarg. Than Yarg. <laughs> Well, it's already 9 p.m., but I could come and help out for a little bit if you want. It's up to you. Time will pass by pretty quickly. I'll at least run the cutscene. Oh, yes. So that I can watch you slowly float over the sky. Yup. So, so far I got eight in total if I donate these. I have some bombfish. Yes, here you have some bombfish. Alright, we are one fifth of the way. I want to say one twentieth. That's not right. That's, we are twenty percent. Yeah, I'm just watching you walk on water. Chaos. Chaos. That's Jesus' job. Why are you taking it? Uh, uh, well, uh, listen. Is there something you have to say? I'm not saying that I'm not Jesus, <laughs> but I'm not saying that I am Jesus. You know what I mean? No. Well, that's your fault then. Dang. That sucks, being head empty. I'm sorry. Bite the line, you freaking fish. Oh wow, it is getting late. I will catch one fish, and then tomorrow morning we will start anew. Alright. Well. I was like, keep finding totems. Let's go, I guess. I caught an apple core? Lost booty. That's not a fish at all. It's garbage. But you know what they say about garbage? One man's trash. Is another man's trash. Yup. That's, a, That's a bomb fish. There we go. Yes, we're looking for fish that are bombs. Eh. Right, this is my last fish. I'm back. heading back. Fish. Take me away. Oh, I have to talk to Peter. I forgot. Peter. I need to go home. Peter. It's getting late, Ada. Oh, also, after I was done with the the hospital today. Mm hmm So I didn't know this, but there's a farmer's market right outside of the place on certain oh. days. Like literally like <laughs> right in front of the general hospital is like a farmer's market. And I had to try like North African cuisine a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I felt bad. And because also the person was like super sweet and they allowed me to sample everything. So I got to try like semolina bread and like all their sauces. I was like, you know what? If the deal is four for 24 rather than one for $8, I will buy 24. So we'll, we'll make something out with, with these dishes, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting inked. We're getting inked. Not again. I don't want ink innings. No. It's squawking at me. It's squawking. Ah, it's, it's, it's eating sludge. You know, it's kind of interesting watching a slime, you know, just throw balls of... Not, uh, not throw balls of slime, but like throw balls of ink. It's just interesting. <laughs> you know, I, I just didn't wake up and just wanted to get hit by these things. <laughs> just... Today I woke up and chose getting inked. Pretty much. Oh, my freaking gourd, my gosh dang, everything is full. I need more chests. <laughs> and or a bigger house. That too. A bigger house. I don't have enough money for it, but I could. Oh, it's raining. 
Yeah, so we actually have to water our crops. So I could just continue being far not farmer. I could continue being fisher. I almost said miner at I'm almost at cycled through everything. Explorer. Combat specialist, fighter, I guess. All the things. Everything I am. I caught two bomb fish. Let's go. I forgot the chance that you can actually catch more than one thing at once. Freaking go. Do you unironically use the phrase let's go these days? Hey, just because I use things when it's not in trend doesn't mean I would use let's go. But I think I've used it once or twice, so. <laughs> Shit. Well, there you go then. Alright, uh, we are forty, at least 40% of the way, but if my math calculations, we are 42.5% of the way through. I just wish, wish fish could show up. Yeah, it was funny, because like, when I was doing my job like a few days ago, literally, um, the person asked, hey, can we split this payment like straight in the middle? And then like, okay, I got it. I did the math in my head, it's like, here's this. There you go. Because, uh, I guess they don't want to pull out their calculator, so I just did it. <laughs> Easy enough. Divide by two. Man, I wish I were that good at math. I mean, it's, it's just math. It's not for everybody. It's hard for me. I do my best. I'm pretty good with words. Math is hard. Actually, you know what's funny? Some of the friends in Lofty basically commented about like, how eloquent you speak. Really? Because I think one of them was looking for a specific word that would match like another synonym for another word. And I was like, chaos could help. <laughs> you know, it's it's actually kind of funny. <clears throat> one of my coworkers has started calling me her personal thesaurus. Because whenever she can't think of the word for something, she'll come and ask me what word I would use. Uh -huh. And on the one hand, I'm like, that's really sweet. I'm glad that you trust me with your words. And on the other hand, I wonder if I should maybe try to speak normally. <laughs> because I appear to be getting a reputation. I mean, is there a way to speak normally? Not exactly. There is isn't a way to speak sociably, you know, within each social context. Oh. Also, uh, Nampi says chaos knows all. Oh, I wish, dude. Gosh, imagine, like, if you knew all. I don't know why, but imagine your, like, eyes flashing with, like, white light. Just out of the blue, like, <laughs> just like just terrifying uh, omnipotence. Yeah. It's funny. So I've been working a lot with um, AI for my job lately. Mm -hmm. Have I told you about this? No, you have not. So I think it's really cool because I, for those who don't know, I work in a creative field. Um, I'm a graphic designer by trade. And because ai is becoming such a you know relevant part of day to day mm -hmm. in the creative world you kind of have to like adapt or die right so i've been working a lot with it to augment my process and it's been really fun of becoming really really into mid journey and chat gpt um and working with that to kind of make things go faster and more interestingly but it means that I spend my entire day sitting there thinking, like, how could I get AI to help me with this problem that I'm dealing with? I feel mm. like I'm becoming, like, dependent on it to an extent, but, like, not in a sense of I need it to do everything for me. More like I sit there thinking, oh, if I augmented this prompt very slightly, I might be able to get it to do this. And, like, this is no time to be thinking of these things. I got stuff to do, man. <laughs> I feel like with today with like graphic design and like AI, right? I feel like if you were somebody who is artistic but is someone who can like code and do that, I think that would mesh pretty well. Because it yeah, seems absolutely. like you know the arts and STEM are kind of well, they they have been fusing in a bit, but in a different manner nowadays. It's like really becoming very intertwined. That's very apt. Did you... The other funny thing... Hmm? Oh, no, go ahead. Oh, I mean, slight non sequitur, but the other funny thing about it is the fact that, like, I always forget that not everyone lives in the space of, like, AI is super cool and it can help us and it's going to be a huge benefit to our process. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking to someone about it the other day and they were like, it still terrifies me. There's, like, so many absolutely horrific things that it can do. And I was watching this deep fake and I'm sitting there like, oh... 
oh yeah, there's also that other side of it. Yeah, it's the other side if people decide to abuse it, which unfortunately people are going to do that. Oh yeah. And yeah. I was going to bring up so you know like how Marvel came up with like this the uh, the Secret Wars basically and how like for their intro they used like clearly used AI art for like their intro. Yeah. And people were it's been like a mixed debate, you know, about how it's kind of cool that for Secret Wars you're using AI art because like it's supposed to mimic humans, but also the scrolls mimic other people and like act like them while in the infiltrate. And so it's like a cool reference, sure, but also people were outraged because of like, you know, the loss of jobs. Oh. Fail. I think we got there. Yeah, I was wondering. I was like, I thought you would have the last three or something. That appears to have been enough. Yep. Sorry, go on. But yeah, that was just basically the gist of the story. Yeah. No, it's there's there's a lot of debate about it, right? And like, you know, there are certain industries in which it's a real problem. Like I don't know. It's it is a a very What's the word I'm looking for? It's a potent and terrifying tool, right? And it has the potential to do absolutely crazy things and put a lot of people out of work. And that in its own right is like not ideal but it also has the power to do absolutely amazing things and like expedite the process of the work that people do tenfold so i don't know there's there's a lot to it mm -hmm. i have mixed opinions about it most of them are positive though just because it's super cool God, I have too many things to take this squid with me. Oh. Well, guess I'm selling these gloves. Pandora's dropping the gloves. I'm dropping the gloves. Two leafy sleeves, easy enough, I can do that. Can't you put the gloves on your hand? I could, but they're also, like, not gloves I want to wear. Oh. And they would only sell for one buck. Interesting. Okie dokie. Oh, but yes, I believe I was talking about North Africa. Yes, I bought a few of like four different flavors, and they're kind of they're really interesting. I think uh, there was one that they rec I recommended. I think it was like feta and spinach or something else, but they were all had like different flavors. Some of like were a little bit spicy, and like I enjoyed each one. But there was one like white feta one I think that was really feta forward, and it, like it hit me. Like a truck. In a good way or in a bad way? Uh, I don't know. It wasn't for me. Just like, it was just too strong, I think. Mm, that's fair. Large tank. Do I need anything for a bomb fish? Nope. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put this fish out of different section. Cheese is delicious, but it is very intense. I mean, it really depends on the cheeses, right? That's true. What do I need in my chest? This is good though. I so I actually um I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I had tteokbokki for the first time this oh. evening, um, what, was which too, is super cool. Was it too spicy for you? <laughs> oh, absolutely, it was. <laughs> and that's the problem. Is like I've always wanted to try it. It looks so good, and like every single time I've ever seen it made or eaten, I'm like, oh my god, that looks like it's amazing. But I have baby tongue and i cannot consume it i mean if you um, if you like uh like fish cakes and like thick mochi like the mochi shell or encasing like you know because the, the rice cakes right like that is something for you and i mean you can make it yourself so it would be like a lot less spicy as well true and or, I probably should. or dilute it with water people do that too mm. That's actually a good idea. I have a lot of leftover, so maybe I could, like, dilute it and have it for lunch tomorrow. Because it was freaking delicious, but, like, so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I am weak. Uh, some people are really, really weak, where they'll say pepper is spicy. Usually deal with pepper. 
Gochujang is kind of hit or miss for me though, because sometimes it's like fine, and sometimes it's like, oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. I forget, do you like kimchi? I take or leave kimchi. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's real good, sometimes it's not quite what I'm looking for. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay to me. Like, I don't mind eating it, but I also don't go out of my way for it. Fair. I've always wanted to try, um... Is there, like, technically black bean noodles or something? Oh, uh, Jajangmyeon. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, they it's, it's real so good. good. Yeah. Because, like, if you like sweet a little bit, then mm -hmm. yeah. That's for you. Mm, I should try that. I have never been able to actually, like, find it anywhere, but then again, I haven't been you know, looking Ma with great intensity. You know Mana in, uh, you know, where we went to college, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, have it. Them? Yeah, Mana has it. Hmm, interesting. If you want to try it there, or you can always buy, like, the ingredients from uh, Kim's. That's true, that's true. Or any, like, other place, if you want to make it, but... You know, you don't have to. You can always just try it or order it. But it can be a little pricey in comparison. Ooh, I got a Blazeel. Blazeel? A what? Blazeel. Like a blaze eel. But Blazeel. Because there's... Blazeel. Because, like, the eel... It's because it has blaze, right? Without the E. Blaze without the E. And then eel. So I should call it Blazeel. That does sound like Blazeel, doesn't it? Also, this bar went super fast. But literally, half of it was green. Like, you can catch it. The other half was... Um... You miss? Like, I don't- how do you miss that? Even though it's going fast, how do you miss that? Also, it's legendary- excuse me, a pie roll Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm excused. I'm just confused. Alright, and then we need a good- very good fishing rod for the snack food to, to move for the- the fishy fish boy. If I have enough days, I can get enough materials and money. Yeah, I'll be fine. There's a fishy snack food? Yeah, at the pier. Sorry, my voice oh. kind of cracked. Maybe I should, like, drink some water at some point. That's a good call. Water is good for uh, you. I also found a tentacle monster emblem. And I caught a fish. You like tentacle monster emblems? I can take or leave them. Oh, oh, that's fast. That's fast. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, man. All right, this one's actually fast. Cool. I also got the well-rested trait for today. And today is 20% bonus. Oh, come on. 20% bonus damage to trees. Alright, I'm monster. I gotta do this. Third time's the charm. Let's do it. There we go. Third time's the charm for sure. Perfect. Oh, and I got the earth angler. Cool. Hey da. Pee da. You in. I think it's like 5k. Sorry, not pee da. Emmet. Emmet. Dude. Nope, it's only 3k. Cool. Emmett, you gotta stop working so hard. You can't work in six different stores all at the same time. He's gonna work himself to death, the poor boy. You know, I feel like Emmett, like, cause you know we get to each store, right? What if he's like running alongside us to each store? He's like, ha ha ha. He's gonna go. Are you gonna go with that one? Are you gonna go with that one? He's like Just panting and jogging alongside. Pretty much. I wouldn't put yeah, it I past can, him. I can see that. He's trying his best. Oh, Catherine. Catherine, you needed something. Oh, apparently I had your stuff. Cool. Here, have the leafy leaves because apparently I had exactly the amount that I needed that I never sold. Alright. Cool. Oh, so that was a fun thing that I spent my day doing. Um, You know how you like pick your soundtrack for the day, right? No. Yes, I, I guess. Yes. Like, you know, when you're listening to music, you, you pick the thing that you want to listen to. Mm -hmm. Um, I spent my day listening to, like, early 2000s rave music. Okay. Which was such a trip, because, like, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, you listen to Numa Numa and I'm Blue in a remix format enough times and your brain just kind of, like, melts out of your ears. <laughs> It was great. I had an awesome time, but I now have Numa Numa stuck in my head, and I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta sit there and suffer. I guess I do, honestly. I did it to myself. You gave yourself an earworm. What do you expect was gonna happen? Yeah, really nothing Peace much. and serenity? 
เคยได้มีเคยได้มีอะ I don't know her It's kind of sad that that watering the ink splotches don't give us any experience or anything. It just, yeah, it doesn't give us anything. It just says you watered good, cool. It would be really nice if it did something. I'm currently just clearing the island because I don't want to do anything at the moment. Well, I do want to do stuff at the moment, but they're kind of closed. So I guess the next best thing is to do chores around the island. You know, it's funny. I found, I saw. So you know the saying, "Be gay, do crime," right? I I'm saw so, someone do uh, have who had a username that said, "Uh, be crime, do gay." Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Old gag, new twist. Oh, I don't have my freaking thing that tills the entire ground. That's no fun. You'll get there at some point. We all have to. Restart our lives with the days of our lives. It's like a freaking isekai, except I don't get to be something cool. I mean, there are isekais that are like that, which are kind of cool. Like you start from the ground up, and then you become strong. Valid. And I mean, you chose and a different just... start. You have like better dodge chance, and some other things. <laughs> well, we do get magic. I guess that's kind of cool. Wow, you guessed that having magic is kind of cool. I see. Kind of neat. You know, just like you're a magical being already as it is, so you know you lost your omnipotence. You you wanted to know what it was like to be immortal. And this is this is your own doing. You're just saying. <laughs> Ugh, it's lame. Well, glad we established put, that now. Put me back in the god mode, please. <laughs> How about no? No, oh, you're no fun. I am. No fun. How, how did you know? I don't know. Also, I like I've known you for six years. Has it really been that long already? Yeah. Oh. Right. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? You know, at at the at a certain point when uh our relationship like uh, that we know that we've known each other for like ten years, that'll be something uh I'll have to face with some other issue. Yeah. And I, no, I'm saying this vaguely because I know I think you'll know what I'm referencing. I think so. Uh, falling out is uh, the thing I'll say. Ah, sure. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I get it. And I'll check later to, just to make sure we're on the same page because. No, no, no. I, I think I'm with you, but you can check. I need to chop down all of these things that are in my way. We moe. Get out of here. Oh, we moe. Oh, we moe. They're in my way. They're in my way. <laughs> we need more freaking mana. And then eat food, you know? And Go to Elias' I... fountain and get some stuff. But I can only have so much, you know? Ah, uh, that's like... not true. Well, right now. Okay, that's true. I don't waste all my things, but... Hmm. How are you doing, Cal? Oh, Cal, you have ink in your pen. There you go. Yeah, good Cal. Cal got inked? Well, it, it, yeah, it had ink in its pen. That's a bummer. You should tell it to stop that. Well, it's not its fault. It's so no. nice that you actually get experience for petting your farm animals. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's considered farming. Yeah. Nebby said uh, it was doing its makeup. It's a, it's a goth cow. You can't handle this emo cow. You okay, Chaos? You were like, uh... Sorry, I was, uh, uh, Peter is giving me a fishing net. Oh. Have you not had a fishing net this whole time? Nope. Oh. I hadn't done a lot of fishing. I 
Average mouth bass. I need the delicate gloves for whatever reason. Actually, I'll, car I'll carry one. Just in case I need to put it in the, in the museum. Dorado. I got some green root seeds that I didn't realize I had, so I guess we're planting those. Plant. Oop. Okay, I guess they planted. Gotta go find Anne. And the one that tried to scam us with her stuff? Yeah. Oh, but first I gotta grab my fabric. Hmm. Bernard needs fabric. Couldn't be me. I don't know about that one. You're unfamiliar with Bernard's need for fabric? Nope. Yes. I mean, yes. But the word was supposed to be yes, but I said nope. Good, good, good me. What's happening over there, bud? Uh, we are not experiencing technical difficulties. Please un understand that we are trying our best, and we will get back to you within five to six business days. <laughs> Understood. Thank you, sir. Wait, Chaos, I forget. Do you like Tea Turtle? Also... Yeah, okay, cool. The other thing... You, do you know there's a quest for eggs that is called something that we've made jokes about? I have not. No, I, I don't know... So, there's a, there's a quest to give Albert 12 eggs in this trying time, is what it's called. I see. Oh, actually, then I should have messaged you, because, like, Tea Turtle had a 50% off everything sale. Dang. For, uh, yep, yeah, and I might have overdid it, but you know what? It's fine. What did you buy? Mm, you'll see at some point. Alright, fair enough. You'll see. <laughs> Ah. We'll see. This marks my villain era. I can't even know. I don't think I could ever have a villain era. <laughs> I'm just like, it's not for me. If y'all want to do a villain era, you can. Uh, I won't stop you. <laughs> Unless, you know, it becomes really bad. But other than that, yes, I won't stop you. <laughs> oh, they don't really need mangoes? Dang, I have mangoes for no reason. But apparently they want beetroot? Do mangoes go here? No, that, that's in fall. Okay, cool. Spring crops. Mm, they want the basics. Sad. No mangoes. Okay, I can sell the mangoes or I can not want the mangoes. Mangoes. Oh, also I had to get a new monitor because my old one died. Oh yeah, you mentioned. Um... You know, I didn't understand the difference between size and monitors, and so, <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> what did you do? Uh, uh, is it way bigger than it should be, or not big enough? I mean, is it? So I went from a twenty-four to a thirty-two, and thirty-two is basically a small TV, from what I've heard, and uh, uh, yes, Almost three feet long. Yeah, it's a bit. But, like, the inches are done by diagonally, and I, I didn't know this stuff, and no, no. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I, sure it'll be super cool. I mean, I love it. it. It took me so long to actually put it up together because it was big, and I'm not the strongest upper body kind of person. But I did it. <laughs> We're awesome. I'm glad that it worked out then. Yeah. I'm just glad that it is done. I can imagine. I have never put together a computer, but I'm sure I'll have to at some point. Or, you know, get someone to do it for you. One of those. Yeah, or that. Building a bridge. The child wants stone. Oh, I don't even have stone. How do I not have stone? Why don't I have stone? Uh, oh, I need money. Uh, farm, jump, skip, skip, skip. We're going to the mines unintentionally. Unequivocally, oh, the words. I also need to like really level my combat because if I'm gonna fight something, I really need my combat. Oh, this child yeah. dropping their dinosaur every other day. She lives in that area a lot, and I don't know why she's over there so much. You know, she, she decided to ditch class, and that's why she ran all the way over there. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the child. Yeah, no, I believe it. I must talk to the drunk man at the tavern. 
If mm. I do not speak to the drunk man, I cannot continue my quest. So Nelvari. You know, I was in like Sunday for so long, but like with my other account that I played with my friends, right? I finally decided to go to Nelvari, and I'm like, oh, that's another thing. Yeah, another farm. Okay. It's crazy. And then there's a third farm. Yeah, also, it's a lot of farm. We spoke. I feel like you're the one who spoke about this, but the next update, we're supposed to be able to have children. Bless. I was wondering about that. You want to have children in this game? I do. Yes. Uh. I mean, like <laughs> mostly just because I want to see what it would end up looking like. Um. Like, yeah, is, it, no, is, it, I, is it a fusion? I was like, hmm? You're wondering, is it a fusion or is it just gonna be? Some just like randomized child. Yes. <laughs> All right. I mean, I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm looking forward to seeing what it does. Mm -hmm. Mostly just because like the the spouse thing currently just kind of like lives in your house, and I don't know if it's just my the person like that I ended up marrying, but like you can't even sleep in the same bed as them. Yeah. They, like they bring their bed into your house, but like you can't actually sleep in it, which doesn't make any sense to me. Nappy, how could you do these false accusations of me, thinking that I would use the child for mining? I would at least use the child for mining, and also... <laughs> hey, if they're not paying their rent by the age of five... <laughs> DJ, kidding. how could you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Such cruelty I would not expect from the likes of you. Don't you know that the children crave the mines? Exactly. But not in a way that would result in you forcing them to work for you. That's not cool. I'm not forcing them. If they crave the mines, they're doing it on their own fruition. I'm just making sure they bring it back, you know? Have you seen that picture? I think it's from Gravity Falls of like, uh, it's like this guy who's like a bouncer and he's sending someone away from the bar and he says like, sorry guy, no miners allowed. And it's like an old timey miner. <laughs> oh, jeez. So funny. I'm going to steal your cook pot briefly because I need to make some applesauce. <gasps> the audacity for you to steal to rob for me. I've been Harry robbed. Potter and the audacity of this bitch. I need sugar? Ugh. At God. this point, I feel like having like a no casting stream is interesting because like, because like I I'll, I'll follow my rules. My friends, not so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can try to be better. No, no, no. You don't have to do it. It's fine. At this point, uh, I'm just fine with it. I really can try to be better. If you no, no, no. You're know. you're fine. It's fine. Like <laughs> I'm not saying it's fine when you're really not. Also, Cass, where did you go? You're, did you run uh, past? Over into the store. I need to buy sugar. Come back. Come back. But I need to buy sugar. Just, just wait a second. Let me catch up to you, and then pass you the snack coon. Because this one was in my inventory, and this is supposed to be for you. Oh, I think I already have that one. Really? It gave me two of them. Huh. Well, one popped up on me when I spawned in, but it may have been something else. I'll check to see what I have. If we uh, don't already have this, then I'll sell it. Or if we do already have this at all. You know what I mean. No, I don't. Can you speak English? Uh... Maze? <laughs> <laughs> I need a meta in English. Uh... Okay. Actually, uh... That's probably not what English is in Cuba. I don't remember what it is. I've been learning Spanish, so my brain doesn't actually... Like, it keeps conflating shit. No, that was me when I... After I learned, like, French, my Spanish got messed up. Oh, I can imagine. I mean, those two specifically kind of have a very, very large quantity of places where they converge. Also, Chaos, you're getting called out by Nampi. Chaos, what did I, do now? I thought you knew all about words. <laughs> English ones? <laughs> I never claimed to be good in multiple languages. I think it was insinuated. That's, you know, okay, fair. I, I understand that. I see where you're coming from. Counterpoint, I'm dumb. Uh, and end of counterpoint. <laughs> That's not true. We're all dumb. Well, I feel like in general people are. 
unless you're like some kind of genius that knows like a lot of facts about a lot of everything but most people have like that one subject that you just can't even yeah hit. i do know many folks that have that kind of encyclopedic knowledge of facts though i always think it's super cool mm -hmm. i wish i could do that also nappy if you want to learn french just be prepared for a bunch of silent letters oh yeah there's like any number of letters in the alphabet and they only use like half. Yep. And by use I mean speak. Also but... literally squirrel is probably one of the harder words. <laughs> squirrel. Like how to say squirrel. Like le skill I think? Oh, I how to sp it's been a while. Don't ask me, I could not tell you. Uh Uh, how do I how do I explain this? How do I explain this? Is there any French person in this stream? Or actually, there's probably some French people in Lofty as well. But there's just it's like they they have the letters, but sometimes when they're combined, they're silent. So uh, yes. which ones exactly? I want to say T sometimes can be silent when compared with like certain ones or H which makes sense but I can't remember honestly I, I wiped it from my memory thank you turtle for giving me a diamond you know you treat turtles with like love and kindness and they you flip them over because they're struggling with life and they give they give you diamonds Uh, can I make it to the, the museum before it closes? Probably not. Got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, it's 8. It's exactly 8. It's probably closed. No. I have planted 40 grape seeds, which are all going to die. Why didn't you just plant one? Or did they require you to plant- It makes me plant 40. Oh, I really thought you could just plant one and then save them and then when they give you another 40. I wish I could, but no, it's like, plant 40 grape seeds, 40 out of 40. Water 40 grape seeds, 40, 40 out of 40. You know, I'm gonna consume cookies. They give me attack power, even though it's now mitigated to like 0. 0. 0.00. Eight. Okay, I know I have this fish. Okay, iron head sturgeon. Probably check if that's donatable. Not the average mouth bass because it's too average, I guess. Tuna. I don't need the diamond. I know I don't need the diamond at the moment. I kind of want to keep the mangoes, just because mangoes. Mangoes are good. I mean, I don't actually like mangoes, but they're you know they sell for a good quantity. Oh, Cal says hi. Well, Nampy, say hi to Cal for me. You're, you're our interpreter of of words today, I, I, I guess, if you don't mind. <laughs> Hi, Puma. What am I doing? What am I eating? What am I shoving in my face? The world may never know. Cookies. You know, it's kind of funny that some of these quests basically give you things. Uh, and then... And then that you can use it for other quests, basically. It's like questception. It's like, haha, I didn't want your reward. You could have it. I don't want this, but you can take it. You yeah. know, I think I already had a beach snack in plush. It just kind of spawned on me when I opened up the game. Oh, because like usually when you, because you were there for a second, then you were gone. So I think it counted for you. But then you came in and walked over to the location. So it gave it to you. Ah, uh, that is very possible. <sighs> also, I will sell it. Also, Nappy, say hi for a square for me. And also that... I I don't know what... I just had a weird feeling. I just couldn't say I love you back. 
Because... Uh, it's still kind of dumb. I think I still struggle with saying those words to anybody. Isn't that... Is that interesting, Chaos? Chaos? It's not something... I, I, I am familiar with this. This thing. Um, I, in fact, have people in my life that do not feel comfortable saying I love you. And, like, that's totally cool. You know, it just depends on the people that you're with and whether or not they expect that of you. No, it's, like, it's kind of weird because I can say it now, right? But... I, I just had a weird mental lock of, like, saying it. I think that's, like, perfectly reasonable, honestly. I, uh... <sighs> I mean, do you think it's weird? Um... Not exactly. I, I guess I just, like, I, I want to say it that I mean it, I guess. You know what? Just say, Square, that we appreciate them. That That's the thing I could say. I just can't say, say the other words. Because <laughs> I think after like a long time, it was a hard thing for me to say just because... Oh, okay. It can't be said it's too late, but uh, words. Uh, huh. I, I'm, I'm malfunctioning. <laughs> okay. Hang in there. You're doing great. <laughs> But, uh... Because I think it was a lot easier for me to say when I was younger, right? But then at a certain point, because of growing up, trauma, issues, that it just, like, I didn't understand it. You know? And... And then knowing my personality, I hate saying things that... Well, I don't hate. I don't like saying things I don't mean. Or I don't like not being genuine self as much as possible. And I guess it's like something about vulnerability as well. That makes it a little difficult. But eh. I think I think the... I... Oh sorry, go sorry. for it. And I think as like I heal ever so slowly, uh it'll be a lot easier for me to say that to like a regular person rather than just you know someone that i've known for a while right or like to actually say those words because those are those not the quote those like lyrics but those three words something something what was it i'm, I'm saying i'm quoting uh, that ch not chasing pavements uh cloud patrol what's it called chasing cars i could not tell you unfortunately snow patrol chasing mind. cars Okay. Uh, I'm looking at it right now because I need to know. This is gonna bug me. Da, 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 da. Ah. Hello, Inquisition, or also Sai. <laughs> Thank you for the follow and uh, my voice is starting to be itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right over there? Yeah. Oh, the lyrics go that those three words are said too much. They're not enough. Never uh, mind. Not exactly how I thought it'd be. I think, okay, so this is this is an interesting thing to me. I have no issue with saying the phrase, I love you. I mm -hmm. say it all the time um, to people that, like, it just everyone that I care about just because for me it's a very important thing to be able to you know state right I, yeah. I think that telling people that i love them is an important part of confirming to them that i care and that they matter to me and so i say it without much you know with frankly reckless abandon right no hesitation um, snipe them with the i love you exactly <laughs> hit them with the feels right <laughs> it's just right at them and so I think that, like, with that, with the knowledge that you, you know, go through your day to day and you choose to say some things to some people and other things to others, um, the grapes are dead. Uh, <laughs> all right, Kermit, 
And Kermit Sorry. comes at like that deep moment. No, you're fine. The grapes just died, man. Um, I guess so. Being able to tell someone that you love them is, for some people, a really, really important thing that is only said if you truly mean it. Mm -hmm. And for others, it's just, you know, as much as completely platonic, like, I care about you and you're my friend, and that matters. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think that for people who don't say it as often, it does actually mean... You could say that it means more when it does get said. Like, there is someone in my life who is very close to me who just doesn't say I love you. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I have learned to accept that because it's just how they are. Um, I don't know why they do it. I don't know what it is with them. I'll always say, like, you know, love you, and then the response is, yay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were say dead silence. <laughs> no, 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 they, they don't <laughs> leave it in dead silence. It's just like a yeah. Yeah. Uh, it all comes up. Great. So, F finger guns to the corner. Exactly, exactly. And that's just how they are. And I still love them just the same. It doesn't, uh... It does not change the fact that I love them and adore them with all my heart and soul. Um, but I think, like, all of that to say that it took me a while to understand that. Mm -hmm. um, and for a while, I was kind of like, why don't they say it back? You know, what is it that I'm doing wrong that means they don't say it back? And with time, I learned, like, no, it's literally just they don't say that because they don't say it unless they really truly mean it and mm -hmm. that's all it is yeah i think part of growing up in maturity is like learning that people well one people don't function the way that we like uh, that you do and how we express ourselves and say things is kind of an adjustment period sometimes because you know how you do things and if somebody does it way differently and it's like to come to an understanding it's like they're a different person but also they have their own way of like communicating and how they express themselves and it's not always easy especially if you know you're an expressive person but then the other person is not because what is your what is normal for you and what you do uh is not the same for the other person yeah for sure also, Nappy says, uh, they feel like there's certain moods where I love you means, like, different death and serious meanings. Which, I think that's why it wraps into, like, what I believe when it comes to words, you know. First, I don't know why that became a belief. And I think I want to change that at a certain point. Of, like, when words are used more sparingly, they mean more. And that's not true. Like, it might be true to me, but... That's not really true in real life. Like, hence why I don't guess, because I kept that as... What I believed was, you know, we use those words to, for a point, like, because I'm using sparingly, they mean more, but to people that hear it every day, it doesn't mean the exact same thing. If that makes sense. I mean, it, it always is slightly more... I guess the word is jarring to hear someone use a word that they don't usually use. Mm -hmm. um, which I find very interesting because, I mean, wow, we've gotten deep. Um, because I think that- You know, farming and mines make you go into deeper places. I hope you know this. <laughs> it's kind of a fugue state, man. Um, what was I? Sorry, hold on. No worries. Also- Where, where did I start that sentence? Sorry, real quick interruption because I kind of also forgot. So we'll segue uh, for a second. If you go to the pier, you'll pick up the saccoon for the fishing unless it's already like spawned in your inventory, which I don't know if it has. It does not appear to have done, so I will come down to there. Okay. And then... Nappy, do you remember what Chaos was saying? Because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I wish I did. There was an important point there. Um... Words. The power of words. Right. There is only so much in our day-to-day -day that you can express, mm -hmm. right? And in this particular context, I mean, y'all can't even see my face. I I exclusively exist to you through the words that I speak. Um, DJ has his face, 
right? I have and, a face. Like, I know what. Oh, I have a face. Ah. <laughs> you really have a face. Um, and I know what your face looks like, and you know what my face looks like. But to anyone who doesn't, I'm just a freaking disembodied voice full of words, and that's kind of amazing, right? It means that the things that we say create the person that people perceive us to be mm -hmm. and so when you choose not to say something or you decide that you're going to say something it directly shapes that person which i think is incredibly powerful and cool it's kind of like the idea of when you die whether you have like a record of yourself or video voice or your art that kind of like shows who you once were and that message can come across to people that can influence them for the better or worse. I think that's true. I mean, like, what do you leave behind, right? Yeah. This kid leaves behind an octopus sand sculptor. What? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this kid <laughs> leaves behind an octopus sand sculpture to get on the beach. Oh. You've already seen what- the, yeah, you, you went to the tavern, but like, it looks so much nicer than what it once was. They got a real upgrade. I, uh, all the credit to them. They did a good job. They really just said, let's upgrade this place. <laughs> Cola Cabo. Alright, I need to go back into the thingy. We're side clacking, cause that's what I do. Spend more money. God, I'm trying to like save up ten thousand dollars so that I can upgrade my house so I can put stuff in it. And instead I keep like spending money on things and now I don't have enough money to upgrade the house. <laughs> Ugh. This is a real conundrum. Jun, take your applesauce and give me money. <laughs> give me your effing money. You give me money. I hate that man. I'm not even gonna bother. Which man? The man that wrote that song who I shall not name. Why is that? Because he's an incredibly terrible anti-Semite. Oh. I did not know that. Yup. Check his Twitter profile at some point, it's just upsetting. I thought he died. Who are we talking about? Oh. Never mind, wrong person. <laughs> Sorry, I I don't know why, but I thought that, that person who made that song was Ray Charles. No, no, no it's Kanye West. Ah. Yeah, then, then, we, then we said anti-Sam, I was like, okay, we got it. I know which one. I know who it is. I, I just don't know why. I, why why do I associate that with Ray Charles, though? Don't, I mean, maybe you're right. I, I was referencing Kanye West's gold digger, but... Yeah. But, like, the sampling is originally from Ray Charles, I believe. You might be right there. That's why when you said that, I was like, Ray Charles? Who? Yeah, no, you you may be correct about that one. I don't actually know who he sampled it from. But that's just my ignorance talking. Because I remember watching, like, this documentary in class, like, way back when, when I was yonder younger. That's what it was. And let's just say... Like, at my age, I was a little traumatized to watch. I could imagine. Because, like, literally, it's like watching a guy, uh, okay, I'll be right back. Do you want your bar? Uh, you know, being, losing vision, doing heroin. It was a lot. I watched Judd, Jamie Foxx be, I guess. Did he portray it well? I think so. Then again, I didn't really enjoy it, but I think so. That's fair, that's fair. Wait, no. Oh, no, I did uh, Oh, okay. Whoops. I took the, the egg bus, so, all right. You did what? Uh, I took the, uh, the taxi. The, the bird taxi that, you know, uh, you can activate uh, from the eastern the forest. bird taxi. Yeah. Need to go and ask Lucia to train me how to infuse things with mana. Which is great, because all that is, is learning to press the E key. 
I like how there's inferno guppies in the summer, but you can't put them in the, the summer farm. Not farm. Summer fishing stuff. Even though it's yeah. a, literally a tadpole on fire. I don't understand. a whole lot of sense. I don't understand. It's not summer. Then again, in winter, you can catch a fish that is on fire as well. That is true. So, something isn't adding up. Something's not mathing. Math isn't mathing. The math isn't mathing! Ah. Oh, hey. I see you're back. I struggled so hard to find you in my last world, and in this world, it's totally fine. All right. Scoffs. Scoffs in disgust. Oh, and did you hear they're also making multiplayer boss battles now? Or they're planning I to? I did not. Because, like, currently, when you do a boss fight, it's always by yourself. Even if you go with a group of people. And so I'm kind of glad that you can fight with your friends. Be nice. Oh, I caught that on the bright. Oopsies. Oh, it's the magma slug. It's a molten slug. And level up. Perfect. Got a black bass. So there's there's a small mouth bass, average mouth bass, and there's a black bass. Because they're like a lot and there's also a large mouth bass, I believe. There's a lot of basses. That's many bass. Yeah. Oh, first catch of the day is nice, because like if you catch a fish, the whatever a fish you catch first, they'll, they'll give you money for it. <laughs> yeah, like instant money. Like it's raining money. That's a very good thing. I I would like to get to that point. Nom. Nom. Yes. Gives me money. You got a catfish. 64 gold. Okay. Life is peaceful. Life is money. All right, more grapes. I I don't know why, but I thought you were gonna say something else. I don't know what you were gonna say, but yes. <laughs> I have acquired more seeds. I must plant them. Do you have to plant them, or is it because you want to plant them? I mean, if I get to Novari, I guess I have to. Mm. It's kind of a both have to and want to. Woo. I should also save money. My place is getting too filled with snack coons. I got too many plushies. Not enough pets. Face bags. <laughs> Space bags, storage bags. I'm so going to pants. Hmm, what am I doing? What am I doing? How do I shove mushrooms down my throat? What? What? I want to eat mushrooms. Let's see. You know, I would really like to go to that food festival that appears where you live at some point and buy tickets. That'd be nice. Hi, Lumi. Lumi, you're in all red text. I don't know why. But it's kind of scaring me. Are, are you a hacker? I mean, I'll get more once I have space, uh, Nampy. I mean, in my other world, I have lots of space. Oh, it's 1030. I can't go to the store. Yes. Well, well, on my screen, you're a different color, so let's see. I forgot what color Sai was. Well, no, Sai wasn't saying anything, but uh, Puma said something. Puma is like a turquoise, teal. Uh, Nampy is a green, and then Lumi is a red. But then again, as you guys type in like chat as well, like that pops on my screen, it also is a different color. So it's <laughs> interesting what color everybody turns to be. Excuse me. There's just like a weird hiccup that keeps wanting to reoccur. <laughs> Your body is trying to escape you. Good to know. Good to know my body is trying to escape. <laughs> I mean, listen, I can't confirm or deny that's what hiccuping is, but I always thought it might be. And then whenever Nampy like types in like the actual like chat, 
like names appearing as red for some reason. I don't know, it feels like every day the color decides to change. Like one day you'll be orange and blue, the next day you'll be yellow and pink. Colors. <gasps> There's a shooting star? Oh, I've never seen that happen before. I know. Is this a new event? Oh, there's there's sleeping cutscene. That's right. Oh. I wish for money. I'm gonna wish for powerful seeds. Ooh, shimmer root seeds. So that's one of the new cutscenes that they were talking about when you sleep. That's kind of nice. But I also nice. kind of want to collect the shooting star. Ah, it's morning. Are my crops grown yet so I can make money? Nope, they're on fire. They're on fire, people. Okay, grow some spring and summer. I can't grow these seeds because summer's almost over. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sai. I, I didn't know if you were still here or if it was, it was Fuma just sitting around. Uh, But yeah, it's very much Stardew Valley, but more. <laughs> like, that's the. Stardew Valley Plus. Pretty much. If you like D&D &D and you like Stardew, that's what we have. We love lurkers. They haunt. They haunt and spook. I I missed the, the rain cloud spell. I've been spoiled. <laughs> that was real nice. But I also don't mind watering one by one. It, there's something like nice about tediousness to me. I guess that's why I like that's Minecraft sometimes. Not sometimes. I like Minecraft. What do I mean by sometimes? I was gonna say, like, when do you not like Minecraft? Yeah, exactly. What am I saying? So, you know the fact that I don't drink, right? But... Um, yep. So, there's a brand of vodka that makes, like, a flavored vodka. And I'm just really curious about the blue raspberry vodka. Are you talking about, like, Smirnoff, or...? It's called Svetka. It, it's vodka. It's actually just yeah. vodka. Interesting. Okay. And so they have a flavor that's blue raspberry, and I'm just curious about it. Would I drink the whole bottle? No. Would I try a bit? I was gonna say you're gonna down an entire bottle of vodka. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, possibly a Puma at some point, but also like we already have a uh, Emmy who has the server. Uh, do 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 do. True, you never have to water a mine. Actually, you kind of do, because you have to, if you place the water next to the crops, they'll grow faster. If money weren't so tight for me, I was really debating about getting a Minecraft Realm server for a few of us to play. Just because I had like a hankering one day, I was like, I want to build stuff. I'm kind of tired of Sunhaven for a bit, but I still enjoy the game. I just don't want to like overdo it to where I'm like, ugh. Steinhaven. Or like any game generally, because I know myself and if I overplay a game, I'll be sick of it for a while and I don't want that to ever happen. Fair. I kind of low-key want to go back to my old roots of, hey, let's build a house with cobblestone, dirt, and sand. Just like one layer dirt, one layer sand, one layer cobblestone. <laughs> That's what I used to do back then. That's how my house started until Aww. I got it like... Not good, but a bit better. <laughs> okay, those are shoving it. So we need a magma star, a tinder turtle, and a flame ray. Okay. And any of these fish oh. go in? <laughs> hmm? I don't even know. Oh, are those like fish names? Yeah. That makes sense. Those are the fish that we need for our museum for the summer fish. I believe the starfish is legendary, and I don't know about the other two or where to find them. Funny that a starfish is legendary when you can just pick them up on the beach. But it's a magma starfish. You can't just pick that up. I mean... Alright, that speeds it up by 50%, right? Alright. <laughs> How weird are we talking about Puma when it comes to aircraft photos? Alright, time to ask Anne. Okay, I gotta find Anne. Oh no, I'm getting pics of weird airplanes. Uh, 
Oh, she's she in there. Okay. Knock, knock. What story? Oh. Okay. Uh. Alright, so. Chaos, I don't know if I've told you the story. But. I probably have at some point. No, you did not send me it. Um. But, uh, was it? So, we were talking about food in, like, the Loftier server. About, like not eating certain foods at certain times of the day and whatnot and like if you're gonna have a like orange juice or acid in the morning it's good to have it with actual like carbs or something to like make sure it isn't just acid among acid in your stomach because once your stomach's empty it's just stomach acid and sure. right and well the story goes uh, back when i uh, back in the day of down yonder when i was a high schooler uh it was my freshman year and I think it was like, was it the first day? It was the first day or the, like the first week. And so Vietnamese people, we make like a dish of rice and like this pink kind of like barbecue, not barbecue, like pink pork basically. And I had that, it was an oily dish, but I also had orange juice. And the mixture of those things just didn't sit well in my stomach that morning. And like throughout the day, I felt like really shaky and I knew it was coming, and I was trying to power through class. And, you know, it wasn't a good combo to eat in the morning. Um, and then so, as I was... Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Not so feeling great? Uh, yeah, so well, I wasn't feeling great, first of all. And then I think I got to a third or fourth period, and that's where just things were just no. And so I was just sitting in geometry class, that's like a story and I was just feeling really really shaky <laughs> and then I, you know what I knew it was happening I raised my hand and then just like sorry no as I was throwing up I uh rose my hand <laughs> oh my god yep and like literally the teacher was still teaching the class like she was going off about those shapes and I'm here like <laughs> Like everybody's like, hey, hey, this 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 teacher, hey, this kid's like throwing up. <laughs> Jeez. Right? And then And then like, oh, next time please throw up in like the trash can and stuff, etc. etc. Cetera, et cetera. But um so this one guy, I don't like after a certain year, I didn't see him anymore. But like he used to work there for a somewhat of a bit. And Basically, he's like the guy who picks you up on a golf cart because apparently my high school has people riding around in golf carts. Um, That's bougie. Not really bougie, just really random. And then, yeah, thank you for coming inside and you know rest well. And to, but continue with the story. So he comes in, and then he says his remark. You know, as an Asian kid, because there is rice in, in the oh, food. I was like, geez. no, how how could you say that? Like, no. <laughs> that's not great yep but i was basically es escorted and long story short just don't eat bad food combinations and and, and stuff like that <laughs> just be careful yeah it's good to eat things that are good for you it's not so great to eat things that are gonna make you die and then we were talking about like food combinations and the things that i've done um you have made some weird food combinations. And we we already talked about this on the stream, but you know the, the cookie and the chocolate chip cookie and the ketchup. Yeah, no, I still don't get that one. You don't get it, but you know it wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't awful. That does not mean it was good. <laughs> uh, and the, the one time I was desperate for food and then my noodles fell in the sink. <laughs> yeah, sink noodles. Yep. And I don't think it wasn't the wisest idea, because, like, you know, not gonna lie, some people were really nasty when it came to the communal, uh, kitchen. Like, yeah, that, that... I can't see that it was the best choice. That refrigerator was nasty. It was gross. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you know, people just don't care. So, it's, like, a warm... So, back in college, we would go to this thing called Late Night, and... They basically the it's after dinner and the cafeteria was open to like one a.m. right? Like, and 
So they would make like fresh cookies at the night time. And then you would have cookies. Cookies with ketchup. And like they kind of pair well in a sense. When, uh, when it came to like the saltiness to like the sweetness. Because like, you know, sweet and salty kind of go together. But I was able to convince a majority of that table. I don't know how many people to try it. <laughs> Uh, it was more than it should have been. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm go oh, I'm going on a date. I just established a date unintentionally. Let's go. <laughs> Does it feel good to date? I don't know. Wait, where's Anne? Is Anne down there? No, that's, that's Nathaniel. But Anne, where are you? Oh, you're all up there. Why are you up there? I have mentally sidetracked, and please forgive me, but that's kind of what happens. And Duolingo is currently harassing me, but apparently I didn't do my lesson. You fool! The owl's gonna steal your bones! I, I, I bold of you to assume that I had bones to begin with. You know that it's going to steal whatever bones you had. How? If I had bones, then how would it steal it? Well, that's the thing. It's been slowly stealing them. Oh. Maybe that's why I can't feel things in a certain body part. There you go. That's why. My yeah, ears well, don't man. have bones. No. He's coming for your bones. My bones. Learn yeah. your language. Do your thing. <laughs> or the owl. You'll be king. Well, I also feel like the owl lies sometimes because, like, I'll do the lesson right, but it's not within their time frame of like a different day so that I'll miss a day and they'll use a freeze and I'm just like why oh, I did it what do you mean I didn't do it <laughs> like lies pure unadulterated lies yeah lies and slander apparently I haven't spoken to kitty yet in this run through at all yeah apparently huh oh well, I, Nampy, I think it's also because you're talking about learning languages. Duolingo, like, you know, it smells like... Mmm, <laughs> languages. I smell a... I smell someone who wants to learn. Who wants to make a deal. For some letters. What is happening? You know, that's, that's what, how Duolingo sounds, right? Maybe in your head. Okay, well, what does Duolingo sound like to you? <laughs> Well, I feel like, you know, that, that's, that's like the evil side of Duolingo, but the, you know, the regular Duolingo is like, Hi, uh, uh, I'm here to teach you languages, please. Sounds closer, yeah. Yeah. I think that feels right. Thing is lagging. Why is it lagging? I welcome this thing called lag. It kind of just happens. I don't love it. It's not my favorite thing. What is your favorite thing? Oh, that's a hard question, dude. I think it's rain, but I don't know. Really? I love rain. Mm. There are a few things in this world that make me as happy. If it comes to weather, I think it's either clouds or snow. Really? Yeah, because, you know, I would always talk about how I like cloud watching. True. Tilling the land, tilling the land, because I need land to till. I'm not even going to go into the freaking general store. Alright, you've become robotic, so I'm guessing there's going to be some so kind of issue. Not and money. So you were saying? Sorry, you literally... Robotic. Oh, there goes my voice. I'm popping in. Sorry, uh, I was saying, uh, 
I'm not even gonna go into the general store because I don't trust myself not to buy things. What would you buy? Any number of different pieces of furniture for no earthly reason other than... Alright, your audio is just giving you issues at the moment. Yeah, sorry. My computer has been lagging lately. I think I need to clear the cache. No worries. I'll get nappy at work. Like, I will actually do voices and, like, freak out my coworkers. Like, I'll just, like, silently stick up behind them, make sure, like, to, like, eye contact or walk past them. And then, like, I'll do a voice. And it's like, uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, can, can, can you help me? In the like, oh my god. Please don't do that ever again. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I think I just find it funny, though. That, that they just, like, don't understand that it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I ever get, like, the ability and the range, I would love to do, uh, voice acting. It kind of seems kind of like a fun thing. Even if, uh, I'll yeah. be kind of bad at it at, in, at first. But no once... No great. one's great at instantaneously. Unless, you know, they're that one prodigy. Is that what we were about to say? Uh, the voice acting strategy. Ah, yep. yes. You know, they, they can voice all the voices in their heads. That's what I'll do. I'll probably make rice tonight and then try out like the, 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 the North African cuisine mixes. But they seem like something that would be really good. That looks nice. All right, after this one more day, we'll call it. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Let me just put the small guppies in the, in the bin. Get rid of those. Because honestly, I don't know how much longer my computer will live. Mm, milk? Ooh, I need some milk. 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 Yes, no, no question why milk has to identify itself as milk. Let's just, let me just be that way. He needs some milk. Milk. Could you imagine if things in life, like as you say them, they would say their name back, like repetitive, like repeat it after you? It's like, I gotta get to the door, and the door goes like, door! <laughs> that would be an interesting life to live. Would be very upsetting. Yeah, no, I, I would not be a fan of that. Hmm. Oh, cow. Oh, no, cow. I didn't realize you need me to grab some stuff. Hey, yo, cow. You have food, so you're fine, but pet. There you go. Good cow. This is not much to do today. I'm just gonna smack the rocks. Well, get rid of like the big rocks, you know, that are kind of in our way. I'm almost halfway to being able to upgrade my house and then have no money. Or you could save your money for the event that's coming up in summer. True, but I don't usually like to buy anything from those, honestly. Really? I didn't know that. Just as a, uh... Hey, no, Nappy. Nappy, you should be asking Zesty that. Zesty neglects his animals because he will, he'll, like... He, if they don't produce what he wants, he's like, they don't get to eat. What the hell? It's like, I'm doing just fine with my animals. They're getting automatically fed, they get pets. I interact with them. Life is fine. Also, apparently, you can get a werewolf as a barn animal. I see. Yeah. There's a bunch of interesting ones you can get as barn animals, if I'm being honest. Mm 
do do ba do ba do do ba do 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 Oh no, all these crops are dead. Why are all the dead? Well, I kind of already knew why, but... <laughs> Picking up all these dead crops. Because they want to be plant 40 dead crops. Maybe. Who's asking? <laughs> person who is harvesting the actual grapes. Oh, okay. W weird flex, but okay. Hell yeah, it's a weird flex. <laughs> I didn't know those things called actual grapes. Yeah, no, they're they're um actually grapes. <laughs> um, actually, these are grapes. Sorry, should I do it more nasally? Like, um, yeah, actually, those are. Um, actually... Or should I be like, um, well, actually, it's this, and I hope you understand that it's that. That? Or... Or should we go like, um, actually? <laughs> well, it depends on, the, it depends on the person, I suppose, right? I, I guess. When are these crops ready? It's... These crops will finish in three. Oh, wow. These crops are taking forever. <laughs> Grow faster, please. I got a letter. From whom? Ooh, it's my bloom package. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Edwin basically said I could drink with him. I could drink with the drunk. Let's go. Heck yeah! Life achievements. No? Something like. The town drunk thinks you're cool. You can drink with them. <laughs> also, what can I create? It's farm. Okay, cool. Zookeeper! I don't want the fisher spell at the moment. Aha! Oh wait, I need to actually water it. I was about to leave without watering it. Then I realized I needed water. Water is a good call. Water is good for plants, just as they are good for you. Drink water. Mm. Drink water. Oh no. Chaos has lost their mind to, to the hypnosis of water. Drink water! <laughs> I've been craving something lately. I don't know what I've been craving. Is it water? No. No. You will not assault my mind with subliminal messages of water. <laughs> uh, what, what do you... How... I don't know. I can't tell you what you've been craving, man. Albert's pastime. So there's Albert's pastime and there's Albert something else. Albert has a lot of things. Do I want to pick up the starfish for this quest? Kinda do. Oh, I also have a date soon. Okay, get in the grab in the starfish. It's nice not being single. Wait, nope. No, that's not what I was trying to say. It is nice being single to go on dates. There you go. <laughs> Open sesame. Yes. Okay, there's one starfish over here. Another starfish there. All the starfish for me. Water zombie, you know? Water zombie. Got the wood. Also, but like, do you like any of the new characters, Chaos? Wesley looks better than he does in his sprite, which is nice. Um. Really? I think the opposite. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I'm not saying that that makes him, like, a, you know, great looking candidate, but it's not bad. Um, I don't love the Squirrel Girl yet. Her main affect is kind of like, okay. I still haven't interacted with her yet. Like, legitimately, I haven't been able to find her because it's not the season. That's true. It, like, happened for me on a fluke, I think. 
Lucky. Um, Kai, and... Kai is pretty Kai funny. Is cool. Yeah, Kai's fun. I just spoke to him about like his family. And he's like, yeah, my wife and six kids. <laughs> One for each arm. No, wait, he only has four. So never mind, he doesn't have six. Don't mind me. I'm, 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 I'm functioning. Yes. You're all good. Must speak to Lucia now. Wait, I didn't grab the quest? What? I didn't grab the quest. Oh, jeez. I want to go on a cute date, but I must grab this quest. Except... Free fish. We love... You well, Nathaniel had me... Uh, well, we asked to hang out. I, I asked... I think I asked him to hang out? I think that was the thing. I was like, what are you doing? When I hang out... So like, I, I thought... You know, it'd be like them asking me, but I guess not. <laughs> legs. I have legs. Get Kitty, my starfish did you love tea? You came through for Kitty, you didn't fall. Sorry, I should be the proper voice. My starfish did you love tea? You came through for Kitty? You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's enough of that. <laughs> There's something about saying yeah that just like is how do I describe it? Cursed? Yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely cursed. Also, if you if you unlock the hairstylist, right, you can actually um change your race. Race, yeah. Race and haircut. I think that's always super What the hell? I was just talking to June at the fountain. What's he doing down here? Running. He's teleporting. As one should. I'm not doing any stand up. Um, yeah, I'm just. Okay. Well. Alright. And then. It's already past the time. I should probably go. I'm a little late, but better than ever. Do, 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 on my way to go on a date. I am single and kind of ready to mingle. Nathaniel is walking away, but he's I'm supposed to meet him at the barracks. So up we go. How are you there, but walking away? You know what? I won't question your teleportation powers. I'm ready. Not worth it. I love this bridge. It's an architectural marvel, really. Without it, Sunhaven would be completely doomed with no way for merchants to enter the city. Do merchants only enter the city through the eastern forest? Sorry, am I talking too much about the bridge? It's okay, I don't mind. No, I don't want to bore you. Let's talk about something interesting, like crossbows? Uh, crossbows, really? Crossbows are great. Why not? Let's talk about crossbows. Oh, you're being nice. You can tell me if I'm ruining the date already. Besides, I've never been a fan of crossbows. I haven't been in any kind of romance in many years, so I'm just a little rusty. Why don't you take the lead for me? Alright, what would you do if you found a pile of gold in the forest? Uh, that's easy. I'd secure the gold and find the rightful owner. Hold on, that's a boring answer, huh? Let me think of something better. I've got it. I would buy a boat. Sailing the sea sounds like an adventure. I can't even imagine what it's like. You know, I can definitely see you as a sailor. You mean that? I was what I wanted. It was what I wanted to do when I was young before the military became my priority. It's funny, I completely forgot about that un until just now. I haven't thought about sailing in many years. Maybe you have a way of getting through to me, Digital Blue Tea. Would you leave the military to be a sailor? Do you wish you had become a sailor instead of joining the military? Let's do the second one. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm good at this life, and I make a difference. I help people at the end of the day. That's what, that's what most, that's what is most important to me. Besides, I can become a sailor after I retire from the military. Not many people would be so selfless. Maybe your principal. Eh, let's do this one. Maybe, but I don't think of it that way. It's my duty, and that's the end of it. Oh darn! Time always slips by when I don't want it to. Digital busy. I have to be going now. This was a fun day. I can't wait for the next one. Get them hearts. Already making plans? <laughs> I love it. 
I'll see you soon. Bye for now. It's a really wholesome date. <laughs> It was like really awkward but wholesome. He's very sweet. Just like uh, I I don't know this dating thing. You mind taking the lead? <laughs> At least that's how I imagine it. Are you romancing Claude still? I see you with Claude. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can't help it. He's so cute. God damn it. Did you know that when you marry him, he calls you my muse? I think that's so adorable. <laughs> God, I'm such a freaking sap. Hi, Maurice. Why do I feel like Maurice is going to be a character that we can interact with at some point? Because there's still be NPCs that are just side characters, but I feel like they'll be added in later on with more depth at some point. Possible. Happy dating. Now what am I doing? Okay, we're gonna sell the crops, we're gonna replant the crops, the Dr. Lucia, the mana infusion. Oh, and get rid of all these Dorados, because I'm gonna need all these Dorados. Silver carp, angel fish. Skip, skip, skip to Maru. Skip, skip. Now where's Lucia at the moment actually? Ah, that's a good question. She in the yeah. Okay. But I wonder how many like how many updates we'll get for this game. Cause you know, if we're gonna get more romantic characters, what if there's just oh so many? Cause we got like another character in Novari. Are we gonna get one next time for Withergate? Cause there's only two currently. Yeah. That would be really neat actually if we could. If you meet me at my office in Town Hall, I can explain to you how to do this mana infusion. But you're already in the Town Hall! Sorry, visit the Town Hall lobby and wait for Lucia. And Nampi, you're talking about real life or in-game? Just to make sure that I, I understand and clarify. Infusion! Infusion, ha! <laughs> no. So if I fuse with a plant, would it become a plant person or would it be rooted to the ground? Um, good question. It would only work if you could perfectly touch your fingertips to its, so I think it wouldn't matter. I mean, romance in real life is an interesting thing, Nampy. It's like, honestly... Sure, it's good to get experience about like dating and whatnot, but at the same time, you know, you just it'll it'll come, it'll hit you like a truck. Oh, and sorry, I have to just like pretense because I know that you're not able to see this, but uh, Nancy was saying that they've never been like on a date or had a romance with any anyone yet. Like they can help oh, their okay. friends, like you know, find the conversation and like and date ideas that suit them, like them and the other person going to things. Good, man. There is so much time to meet people that you care about and decide whether or not you want to be romantically involved with them or not. And like, I don't know. I think that it's it's your life and you can live it however makes you happy. And if you want to meet people, then that's super cool. And if it's just going to happen when it happens, then that's what happens. Plus, cooties are gross. Why date yeah, people? Yeah, cooties are nasty.
Yeah, especially like I always tell my friends like don't date just to date. Like do it whenever you feel ready. Like when you want like you know, it's it's time in life that I want somebody to be there for a bit or if you want to like experience. But like pluses and minuses to it, right? Like having a partner gives a lot of, you know, lovely benefits to your life. But there's also a lot to be said for being independent. Yeah, I think when I'm like in a relationship when I'm out, there's like there's always been learning. And one of my biggest things is like learning to more of like love myself and take care of myself. And yeah. It's it there are perks and minuses to being single and not being single as well. It's really yep. up to you of what you want. It took me so long to get rid of the idea of like... Sorry, that way my inventory was not with that back. It, it, it's okay, you can keep it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, it, it took me forever to give up this idea of like... Seeking... The... I guess... Not perfection, right? But, like, assuming that you could, you know, just have that, like, movie style meet cute and everything would work out and, like, all that stuff. I mean, like, you know. It can mess, happen, but. It can. And, you know, the people who talk about it a lot are the people who had it happen. And that's awesome. And more credit to you if you manage to make that work. But, like, you start your story however it suits you best and you're just adding more pages to it as you go right so it doesn't have to be written one way or another it took me way too long to realize that yeah and I think it's like being okay with like the imperfections about how life is like you're not I'm not saying that it's not possible to get like that perfect fairy tale, rom com, whatever thing that you enjoy for like life. But it's not gonna always happen exactly the way you plan it. It's not perfect. There's always going to be those ups and down stories of, you know, here's that one challenge, but then here's the bigger challenge in the story. And then But these like different challenges, these different hurdles, these different bits of it are what make the the journey kind of fun and like in hindsight like it's gonna suck in the moment or it it's, it's like a trying bit in the moment as well but once you're able to get through the hurdles it's like a story you can tell to other people yeah like quoting ajr 100 bad days make 100 good stories like when chaos and i talk about our like our adventures i think We've gone through different things as people, but we've also, since we've known each other for a while, we did go through some of the same issues at the same time. And so we know, like, uh, what it's like. And now we talk about these stories like, hey, you remember this? <laughs> this <laughs> random thing? Not because we're old, but it's just like, it's been a while. Can't believe six years have gone, like, that fast. I know. It disappeared in an instant. But honestly, like... That's part of the cool thing of moving through years is that, like, they get faster as you age. That's, like, a scientific fact. They actually do feel like they get faster as you get older. Um, oh, shoot. I meant to... Oh, no. For the graves, I meant... I didn't infuse them with mana. I planted them, but I didn't infuse them with mana. No! Oh, no. Did they die? They all died again. No. Oh, shoot. I've got a couple in my chest that you can borrow if you want. Do we need to buy them from, like, the, uh... Yeah, from the store. Frick. No! I goofed. I'm so sorry. I was so distracted. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh shoot, I hate to leave on this note, but I do have to go. Yeah, well, we're gonna end it anyways, and then, yeah, one second. Just let me grab something. Uh, uh, oh, have you ever thought of a about like a dance with every step of the steps? Okay, cool, that's cute. Oh, thank you, Nathaniel, for the music. And then, uh, okay, cool. And what about this, Pepper Bernard? Okay, cool. Uh, 
I can't hold them, unfortunately. For those ones, I can't get back the seeds. Uh, it's only like certain crops. Anyways. Well, that was where we're- Chaos- Chaos, you're still here, right? Or, did Chaos just like leave, leave? No, I'm, I'm here. Oh. I'm here. Okay, I was like, you're silent? I was like, no. No, sorry, I, uh... I... <laughs> thing must have been acted up. I'm still here. Alright. Well, we have to wrap it up tonight, because it's time for Chaos, uh... And to go, but you know, it was lovely having everybody for a conversation. Thank you, uh, Inquisition, uh, to uh, you know, for following, and I appreciate all the help and support on the way to affiliate. And if you see this on YouTube, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, if you don't like seeing it not live, come here, come exist with us, and hear about my adventures and my miswordings, I guess. <laughs> and if chaos is around, hear them talk so eloquently that I wish I knew what they meant sometimes. I'm kidding. I I understand what you mean a large majority of the time. There's some words I think that'll go like we, but you know, it happens. It's all good. Anyways, with that, I'll be out and I'll see you around at some point. Digital T.